Reasoning is the process of applying logic to start from premises and arrive into conclusions. We apply different kinds of reasoning in quantitative research and qualitative research and we want to work with theory. So let's take a look at how reasoning in qualitative research and quantitative research typically differs and how we use theory in these two research approaches. So what is theory? Theory is an explanation of what happens, how, when and why and theory can typically be summarized using propositions. So we could say for example that uh, naming a CEO, a woman as a CEO causes profitability to increase. So we would have a woman CEO here and profitability here as the second construct. So theory is a set of these propositions and explanation of, of particularly what are the causal processes under those propositions. How do we work with theory then? In quantitative research it's quite common to see uh, this kind of constructions in articles. So you first have an explanation of a theory. This is from information systems research and the theory here is that information accuracy leads to uh, higher intentions to use e-government services. So if the government service provides you more accurate information then people are more likely to use it. And then there is one paragraph explanation of, of how that process plays out. So we have theory here, explanation of, of particularly what and why happens. And then we have here a hypothesis and the role of the hypothesis here is to be a test of that theory. So the idea is that if this theory is true here, then we should observe this hypothesis here. The process through which we arrive from the theory to the hypothesis is called deduction. So the idea is that uh, this is a general statement, general theory, and then we infer that if the general statement is true, then uh, we should observe support for a specific hypothesis developed based on the general theory. So it's from general to specific kind of inference. Let's take a look at the CEO gender example that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So let's assume that we want to make a claim that naming a woman causes company as a CEO causes companies profitability to increase. So our proposition would be that our CEO gender influences company performance. So that's the level of the theory. Then in, in uh, quantitative research we apply deduction and we think okay so uh, how do performance is abstract, CEO gender is a bit less abstract but, but it's not something that we could easily observe. So, so how do we use uh, logic to come up with some observable things. So we could for example say that performance could be measured with ROA and CEO's gender could be measured by checking whether the CEO's name is a man's name or a woman's name. Then we uh, op measure data and we collect, uh, we, we uh, calculate some kind of statistical association. Then we infer that if this proposition is true, then this hypothesis must be true as well and then we must observe a statistical association. If we don't observe a statistical association that we hypothesized, then we conclude that the proposition was not correct. Or at least it's not supported using these data. And uh, there are lots of lots more to that, but that's the basic idea. So how do we do it in qualitative research? In qualitative research, we don't really use hypotheses. So that's basically in, in just in, in quantitative studies. So instead of uh, going deductively from theoretical propositions to statistical associations, we go up. So we observe something and uh, then we infer that maybe there is a general tendency for something to happen. So the idea here is that instead of focusing on these, these variables here, what we, what we focus on in quantitative research. We focus on, on the process here. So this is not actually, a, we're not looking at statistical associations. Instead we are looking at causal processes. So what caused what and through which process in your data. Then we infer that because we observed a causal process in one particular case or one small set of cases then maybe there is a general theory that holds for a larger number of observations or larger, larger sample, larger population. So the idea is that uh, we observe a specific instance of a causal process 
and then we generalize that there's there could be a more general causal process that occurs also in other settings. And this is the, the idea you go from individual observations to, uh, to more general generalizations instead of going from general theory to specific observations. And of course the importance in, in causal making these kind of inferences and causal claims in qualitative data it's important that you uh, explain really clearly what is the causal process like and why it happened because otherwise you really can't make the proposition which is a causal statement.